Patients come to the hospital when they are in need of the most advanced treatment and care, but they soon find it's not always the best environment to recover and heal. In the hospital, we provide this super highly technological advanced care, but sometimes what gets lost is some basic needs that patients have. Top on the list, they discovered too much noise and patients not getting enough sleep. They've been taking excellent care of me and and I feel like I'm getting better, and I f but i got to get stronger. Morris is recovering from a heart attack. To make sure he and fellow patients are getting the sleep they need, UCLA has launched a hospital and system-wide initiative called U-Sleep. It starts with just easy things like turning the lights down hospital-wide at 10 o'clock. That's the easiest visual marker that, oh yeah, it's nighttime, I need to be quiet. With the noisy carts coming into the unit, changing out the wheels on supply carts, changing the doors, how they close, de putting a silencer on the doors. There are sound machines, rain and ocean waves that lull patients to sleep. When possible, bedside computer screens are dimmed and sounds softened. Patients can ask for eye masks and earplugs and the culture of care at the hospital is changing too. A lot of the different units have thought about how to bundle care better, so if a patient needs both, you know, blood drawn and an x-ray and a medicine given, why not do it all at 10 o'clock before they go to sleep? You don't have to do it at 10 o'clock, then 11 o'clock, then midnight. Obviously, if a patient is more critically ill, we will change and do what's needed to keep the patient safe. But there's a lot of things that the nurses have adjusted in order to provide the patients with a more uninterrupted sleep. Getting enough sleep boosts the immune system. Patients feel better. It can shorten their hospital stay and most importantly, get them back to the lives they miss at home.